she has performed at the likes of Pink Floyd, at the likes of you know Rod Stewart. When I met her, she was she was performing with Rod Stewart, and you know, and with the Rolling Stones. I mean, this girl has pipes of gold, and you know. It, Long story short, I'm going to bring her on, but we're going to just chat tonight about different things in the afterlife. We're going to talk a little bit about, you know, um, questions and answers that you might, you know, have for her or for me. And I already, um, I have a piece of paper that I dropped, but I have, you know, some energy that I have been channeling through that I wanted to actually hope to see if there's someone out there or actually that I wanted to channel through and tell you what I'm sensing, hearing, feeling, you know, smelling, all those wonderful things as well. So without further ado, I want to bring in Lorelai McBroom. And Lorelai is out in New York City. I'm in Northern Ontario, Canada. So Lorelai, are you there? I could, I could, I see her screen has come up, but it takes sometimes a second, you know, for her to come on. And I'm going to pick it. There she is. There I am. Hi, Lorelai. Hi, Jay. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Just getting adjusted. Oh, okay. Well, you look freaking amazing. Thank you. You too. I know because I'm wearing one of your pieces, actually. <laughs> yeah, me too. See? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's amazing. But Lorelai, you know, welcome, you know, to this segment. It's the first time I do a grab actually with someone else. And you might just want to turn down your volume a little bit because I'm bouncing back on it. Um, but you know, I'm just, okay. I'm just so happy to have you here because I was just so happy to learn from you that you're very spiritual and that you're really plugged into this kind of thing and that you've had different types of readings and different types of experiences. And I wanted to kind of share that part of the artist, you know, with, with everybody out there, because as a medium, I get to talk to people world, you know, all over the world and, and that do different types of jobs, you know including people like you that travel worldwide and have, you know, have such a great experience of, you know, having concerts with hundreds of thousands of people. I can't even imagine. But, you know, tell me a little bit about how you got immersed I I into spirituality. I'm kind of excited to, to share that with people. Well, actually, it was through my, my mother, um, my mother and father were both brought up in very strict religious households. My father's father, my grandfather, was a Pentecostal minister. My mother was brought up hard shell Baptist. Yeah. So as they matured as adults, they explored different types of religions. Um, I went to Unitarian Church as a child. But by the time I was a teenager, my mother had been involved with some self-awareness training with Werner Erhard and the EST organization, which is today known as Landmark Education. And Werner took a trip to India looking for the best spiritual teacher he could find and then shared it with the people that were doing his seminar work. So we met Swami Muktananda back in the 70s. And we went on many meditation retreats with him. And it really completely changed my life because prior to meeting him, I had been a typical adventurous teenager and I went to see The Exorcist. Yeah. It completely terrified me, the thought that an innocent, which I considered myself to be, could be attacked by such evil. Mm -hmm. um, I was afraid in the daytime. I was afraid at night. And it was because I realized I did not have a firm relationship with what I considered to be God. Yeah. I had it as a concept, but it wasn't a reality. And when I met Muktananda and started doing meditation and following what he called city yoga, based in the Hindu tradition, the meditations and all that really helped me to become centered and at peace. And I finally was free of that terrifying fear I had. Mm -hmm. And so my spiritual journey began there. And um, Baba knew that I was a singer and that I wanted to pursue music, and he told me to do that. He said, just sing like a mad woman, sing anywhere. Uh, when we went to India to visit his ashram, when other people had to do chores, cleaning and whatnot around the ashram, my chore was to sing, write songs, and work on music. Wow. So... 
um, the whole experience is kind of blended because actually when you said it must be frightening to sing in front of, you know, because I've done shows in front of 350,000 people. Yeah. It's not frightening because for me, it's a way to connect to that human spirit that makes people love music anyway. Yes. And I have the pleasure and honor of being able to touch people with my singing and make them feel something, just like my favorite artists make me feel something. Yeah. So to me, being involved in music is a spiritual experience. Yeah. Uh, there are certain tonalities, the chord changes that affect you vibrationally. Yeah. Uh, there's a whole study of that, as a matter of fact. So for me, it just comes with the territory. Well, you know, speak, speaking of that, Lorelai, if, if I may interject, I remember you and I speaking when I had been in Nashville back, back in November. We had a conversation, actually, about this place you had performed at. I forget where it was, but you told me it was so haunted. And that was interesting as well because you, I, I would imagine with the, the venues that you've played at, how many like wonderful experiences you've had. Because I know I have in, in Gravenhurst, Ontario, I had a very, very direct spirit uh, and spiritual experience with the, with the spirit. And this guy made me very well aware that he was there, you know. So could you tell me a bit about that again? Well, I remember when you came to see um, see our band. I was playing with the Australian Pink Floyd show. Yes, you know, in Canada. Yeah, and I remember you saying as you walked down the hallway, you could see people there. Yes, and you said, "Well, this is a common thing when I go places. They they know I can see them, so they make their presence known." Yeah, and um, again, like I said, music is a spiritual experience. Uh, to me, when you really tap into it, I mean, there are people I know who have said they feel they are channeling an energy yeah. when they perform. Uh, Shaka Khan is one of those people. I love Shaka. She told me that for her, there's like a light that comes through her, and that it's like that for all of the members of that family because they're very talented people. Yes. Uh, so I relate to that idea of you really want to get out of the way so that the energy that makes you creative can come through. Yes. It's bigger than who you are. Exactly. And you know what? It, it, it's exactly true. You know, when I'm, you know, doing a show, for instance, and there's hundreds of people there, collectively, that energy is just amazing. I just love that feeling. So, you know, I can imagine that the vibration in the room, was, you must just be on a total high, you know, the entire time. Because, you know, I've seen you work and, you know, doing sound checks, you know, having to get to this hotel and that hotel. We've been on buses together. But, but you know, it's just amazing because, you know, you have to have that push and drive in and you're, you're traveling all night again too, you know, but it's just amazing to see and to feel that energy. So I really, really enjoyed, you know, my time together, um, you know, with you. Um, Laurel, I want to ask you also, like, it's a silly question, but it, it's just something I'm feeling, but is there anything to do with four-leaf clovers lately? Have you seen any or is there anything to do with four-leaf clovers? Not that I can think of. Nothing at all? I mean, I have, I have had a tendency to have good luck, so maybe that's it. I don't know. Oh, no. Someone's showing me a four-leaf clover, and it's almost like I've seen it or there's something like that. So if there's anyone out there that have, like, just recently seen a four-leaf clover or have something to do with the four-leaf clover to please call in because I think I have a message for that person. But anyways, I dropped a piece of paper just a few minutes before the show. And what I do, Lorelai, is I like to tell people I hear, see, sense, smell. And I wanted you to be part of the experience because, of course, you know, we do readings together. We have our friend Harry. You know, we have so many great connections and we're so lucky. But it's, it's, I know that there's a lot of fans out there for you as well, so I'm sure they want to ask you questions too. But here's my piece of paper. I was feeling, and for everybody out there who doesn't know how this works, what I do is I tell you what I hear, see, sense, smell, but I have two spirits. One definitely is male, connection to June. If not June, the number six, 15, or 24. And the reason I say that is six, 
is the sixth month, 15, one plus five is six, and two plus four, which is the 24th, is six. So, okay, I've got a question, but I'm gonna take that in a second. I'm just basically, okay, hang on, I'm gonna just lock that. I'm just, I've opened up the seat. I have June connection. They make me feel there's also a connection to November. So these are the dates that I've written down. I've written down June 11th, 20th, or 29th, or November 11th, 20th, or 29th. And I had a very, very strong mail connected to that. I also was feeling something to do with someone that went septic or had a septic like bowel, like a bowel rupture or something like that. And that there would have been like some poisons or something going to the system. And that I keep on seeing dogs connected to that. So if there's someone like that, please let me know because I definitely want to hear from you because I have two very, very strong spirits haven't left me alone for the last little while. Now, Lorela, you can't relate to that. I didn't, I don't think it's for you. I don't think it's for you. No, I don't think so either. Um, let me see. Just other people just asking questions, but I definitely have a feeling around June or 6, 15, or the 24th. And there's they make me feel passing. I, I would think it's passing, but birthdays, anniversaries, passings, June. And there's a November connection to that. And I keep on seeing numbers 11, 20, and 29. So if anyone can relate to that, please let me know. I also, I just had a mail pop in. Hi, I died in September. Anyways, I don't know, maybe three, four years ago. So if there's someone like that, male that passed away in September, he's maybe between 45 and 50 years old. I'm going to write that down. Um, 45, 50 years old. I would think the first 10 days of September is what I'm seeing. And then there's an R connection to that somehow. So if that's for you, please call in as well. Oh, here, hang on a second. We have someone. Hi there. I just, I, Laurel, I just answered Chris Shettle. So Chris, hi, Chris. How are you doing? She's going to be on in a second. Yay. Oh, hi, Chris. Hi. How are you? Good. Good. Have you met the beautiful Lorelai McGrew? I've hi, seen Chris. you post a lot with her. I know. Doesn't she make great jewelry? Yes. I know. Have you seen her latest stuff? I drool all the time. There's a story behind that. We're going to have to tell her after Lorelai. <laughs> but can you relate to June, November, or the second connection I'm bringing through September between the 1st and the 10th, I would think? Yes. Male, My I My brother think. passed away. Okay. What September date? September 4th. September 4th. Is there an art connection around that? His name is Ricky. Is there Anita or Rita around that? My grandmother's Rita. She, she passed, passed away in June. Yeah, so she's June. So I understand that. Is the 6th, 15th, or 24th important to you, Chris? I believe the 24th. Okay. And what would that be? Do you know? When my grandmother passed. Oh, okay. So I understand. And so is it June 24th? Yes. Oh, okay. Anyways, I have a very, very strong feeling around this mail for you. I would say not more than three, four years ago is the way I feel. Three years. Three years? Okay. I would get the sense that like, there's a very quick passing or there's a quick passing connected to that person. They do make me feel that they're with them, like Anita or Rita. So I'm glad you said that Rita. person's passed away. Yeah. They also talk about Raymond or, R -A -Y or Ryan. So I'm not sure why they're bringing that up. My other grandmother's last name was Ryan, May Ryan. May Ryan? Yes, her last oh, name. Okay. Anyway, she's coming through as well. Now, who had the back injury, Chris? Really bad. The what? The back injury or really, really sore back. Who My was brother. You? That's your brother? What was yes. wrong with his back? Uh, his discs were, he's been, he had been off work for like 10 years because of back injury. Okay. Cause like my freaking back. Okay. It's just the way I clear it. Okay. 
it was he's always adjusting his hair or he's got a hat on but he's adjusting himself okay he's very very happy he didn't think he was going to die the way he did do you understand do you understand so he just makes you feel he didn't think he was going to freaking die that way but he's happy on the other side oh my god he says there's dogs there he has a big big love for dogs <laughs> yes he was yeah and then there's one that's spotted almost it looks spotted you know what i mean so yeah. i don't know what kind of dog it is but there's spots on it but it's a really nice looking dog that's definitely passed away Okay. Now, who has an appointment on the 26th or the 27th? Hmm. Not sure. Is there the 26th or the 27th? Birthdays, anniversaries, or passings? My father passed away October 27th. Okay. So that's him with him then. What's his name? I don't get it. Andy. Andy? Yes, Audrey. Andre. Okay. Who's Alphonse or El Cid or El Fej or El, El Dior? El Doria. El Doria. El Doria. Yeah. That would be his brother. That, okay. Holy Jesus, Murphy does not ever talk a lot. Okay. So, did someone chop a lot of wood? Uh, yeah, my dad would have. Or... Okay. Did someone cut some fingers off on the left hand? No. Who's missing fingers or fingertips then? Not sure. They're talking about that. So find out in your family who's passed away because I get that or there's a strong okay. connection to that. Okay. Now, Chris, what do you do? Do you take care of people? Uh, I'm a librarian I ha and I have a catering business. A catering? Who, who would be a healthcare worker around you? My stepmother. Your stepmom? Okay. But anyways, they want to yeah. thank that person. I feel good about that. Okay? <laughs> I don't know who's talking to her, but there's a big thank you that comes through for that. There's also someone they say hi to Ottawa or Oshawa. Or yeah, Ottawa. all my relatives are in Ottawa. Ottawa? Okay. Because I'm going eastward. So if it's not Ottawa, it would be Oshawa or Aurelia. Okay? But going that way, but a big hello. Uh, I think there's an anniversary in three weeks or a birthday in three weeks or some kind of celebration, but they are So maybe the first week of February, but they make me feel there's something going on there. Okay, Chris? So yay. Okay. Yeah. Holy Jesus. My birthday. Is it your birthday? Yeah. When, when's your birthday? February 10th. Oh yeah, that would make sense to me. But anyways, they're really, really happy around you. Keep on talking. You talk to your brother all the time. You talk yeah, to and my dad. dad. You talk to everybody. Yeah. Yeah. So I feel good. Who has the orange cat, by the way? Orange, what? Orange cat. Little orange cat. Um, my stepmother just got a kitten. Oh, okay. But they make me feel happy about that. Okay. So yay. Does someone have crinkle size? Pinkle fries? Not me. I see them. You know those Cavendish pinkle fries? Yeah. I see the crinkle fries. Did someone like fish and chips? No. You know what I'm seeing now? Is Kresge's. Remember Kresge's? Yes, my grandmother used to go there. Oh, that's your grandma. I've seen the crinkle chips there at Kresge's. Oh. Oh my God. Oh, she took my mother there for fries. Oh, that's why. Okay. So I understand because I see the counter there and I see these girls. Yeah. Yeah. It's Kresge's. <laughs> How long has that store been gone? Oh my God. A long time. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Who got hit in the head, by the way, Chris? Ouch. Ouch. I did at baseball, got yeah. the ball in the head. Yeah, do you be careful. <laughs> did you get a little concussion or? Yeah. Yeah, be careful, honey, because they're around you quite a bit, but they're really, really happy. Um, you got some good news coming. All right. Who's Paul? Paul. Paul. Pauline. Pauline? Yeah. My aunt. Okay, say hi to her. Okay. Be gone. 
Pardon me? She's listening. Is she's she on listening? also, so she's listening. Okay. Well, tell her there's something to do with April or the 4th, the 13th, the 22nd, or the 31st. Someone coming through okay. around that. So I don't quite know what it is unless she calls in. I'm feeling something to do with that. Okay. Do you have any questions, Chris, for, for Lorelei or for myself? No, I just wanted to make sure my dad was around and oh, around yeah. me. <laughs> Lorelai's dad's around her a lot, too. Did you know that Lorelai's dad, what did your dad do, Lorelai? I'm so bad at this. My father was a psychologist. And who did he work with? Say that again. Who did he work with? Well, he worked with some, certain celebrities, but he also knew Dr. Martin Luther King, and I posted a photograph of them together on my Facebook page. Uh, he debated Malcolm X oh, at wow. one time. Uh, they were debating the different philosophies between the um, King approach versus Malcolm's approach. He also was meant to be a speechwriter for Bobby Kennedy. Yeah. Um, but Bobby was assassinated the night they were supposed to meet to discuss that further. Yeah. He, he knew the Roosevelts uh, because Eleanor Roosevelt had a program for black college students back when he was in college. Yeah. So that got him interested in politics at a very young age, which is why I tend to be a bit outspoken about politics myself yeah. when it gets to, you know, comes to social media. Yeah. Um, but both my parents were very unusual. They were pioneers. Um, my father got my mother accepted into medical school, and she became the first woman to ever attend UCLA Medical School. So um, they were just different. That's awesome, though. It's just so nice to hear that. And, you know, in their memory, I remember the first time I challenged your mother through, oh, my God, like, <laughs> I still remember the feeling around it, but you know, that's the joy that I get actually is to try to feel all these different personalities. But you know, I'm coming back to you, Chris. Don't you worry so much. You know, I'm glad that you called in. You must have been really asking for some signs, even in the last couple that there's hang on, I'm gonna get her. Is this Pauline Lebrec? Is that her, um, Chris? Yeah, that's my aunt. Okay, let me get her on, just a second. We're gonna get her on. And it'll be nice because maybe she'll be able to relate. She's and, in Ottawa. <laughs> oh, she's in Ottawa. Okay, yeah. so maybe that's why they were talking about it. Because they keep on referring to Ottawa, Oshawa, or Orillia, you know? Yeah, so it might take a all second. All the families in Ottawa. Oh my God. But anyways, I just, isn't this great? Where are you, Chris? What, what city are you in? in? You're in Noelville? Oh, wow. Okay, I know where that and is. And I got a message from Spirit last week from you, and you had seen smoke around all my messages. Okay. And you said something about a barbecue. Four oh. days before my dad passed away, yeah. he gave me his smoker and oh. said I needed to master cooking on the smoker. Oh, oh it was sweet. I don't remember. So when you, see, kept, you said you there was a lot of smoke, we knew okay. right away what you meant. Oh, uh, okay. I'm sorry. I don't remember, but thank you for validating that. I don't think Pauline's going to get in here. Um, she has to allow her video and her audio. And so I'm just going to wait another second here. And if not, I'm going to move through, um, you know, because I keep on getting like, and the June could be around you because like the June 6, 15 or 24. And if it's June 24th, that would have been your grandma then, Chris. So and her mother. Yeah, and is there November as well then? Or uh, 11, 20, or 29? Just curious. Yeah, I can't think. If you think of that, let me know. I'm gonna close off Pauline, and we're gonna see if she can call in again, because I think she's having technical difficulties. And Pauline, if you're trying to call in, make sure that you allow your video and your audio. Otherwise, we won't be able to pick you up, you know. And uh, I'm just going to welcome some people here. My God, thank you so much, everybody, for joining in. And if you're just joining in, my name is Jay Lane. I'm the messenger medium. At least that's what they call me. I'm in northern Ontario, Canada, and I have with me the beautiful Lorelai McGrew, who is a professional vocalist with has performed with Pink Floyd, um, with Rod Stewart when I met you actually, Lorelai. And you know, while we're waiting for Pauline to come on, maybe we can talk a little bit about that because 
I still remember, and I, I took this out, Lorelai, because when I met you, you were um, actually on the road with Rod Stewart. And you had picked up these wicked, oh, these wicked beads from, uh, where was it? Tibet or something? Israel. Oh, Israel. So I don't know if it was this necklace, which is absolutely beautiful. Tel Aviv in Israel. Tel Aviv, yeah. And so that I remember, but it was this one here that I absolutely fell in love with. And this is one of my favorite, and I get so many compliments. And I did a photo shoot actually with this and with the earrings, but it's absolutely gorgeous. And I still remember when you were on tour with Rod and then you had um, left and then you started singing with Aussie Floyd. But in between, I had said, Laura, like, holy moly, like, are you not? Like, look at the freaking stuff this girl makes. I got to show you because I'm, I'm a collector. But this beautiful necklace set here that I also have, it is a very hot number. This is absolutely gorgeous. And we have agate. Agate, yeah. It's, it's, I love the feeling of agate. Um, but I love this stuff, and I said to Lorelai, I said, you know, we really should make this stuff, you know, because when she travels, sometimes there's a couple days and you don't know anyone in that city, or it's too cold to go shopping, like in Canada, huh? Hey, <laughs> Lorelai? <Yeah. laughs> Remember the time we yeah. shopped and we froze her back off? But anyways, um, yeah, so tell me a little bit like you've been making jewelry your collection is absolutely amazing this year. I, I i love all your stuff but this year it's like you have so many different flavors now especially that last one that yellow one that was hot tell me about what you're doing well i started making jewelry as a little girl my stepmother's uh, father was a professional silversmith and so she had certain tools and whatnot. We did it for fun over the summer, and I just kept doing it. But um, when I met you, when you were so kind to me and gave me readings, I thought the least I could do was make you some jewelry. And <laughs> I remember you telling me, Lorelai, my friends are drooling over your stuff. You were. Actually, so I started about three years ago um, making my things available for sale, and I have a friend in the band that I'm in who's kind enough to design a site for me, so I have a website, Jewelry, spelled with one L because I'm American, <laughs> jewelrybylorelei.com, and that's where the collections are, and I get inspired by different things. I've actually had our friend Harry, another comedian, tell me that there's the spirit of a jewelry craft person, a man, that comes around me when I'm crafting, giving me yeah, and I truly believe in that kind of thing. Yeah, so I think that's kind of exciting. Oh, I love it! I'm so so glad that you're doing that. And you know, if if and I mean, it's so beautiful because I mean, it's not often. And this is what I tell people: it's not often that you get a world, you know, known vocalist who's like saying with. You know, Rod, you know, Rod Stewart and, and the Rolling Stones, oh my God, like Mick Jagger, I've seen your videos, and Billy Idol, oh my God, I'm so jealous. And and I could go on and on and on and on and on and on. I just, I mean, I, I look at pictures of you with, with Grace Jones and with Shaka and with, oh my God, with everybody. And I'm just, oh, I'm just so, you know, thrilled for you. But it's just so nice to have a piece of jewelry that's handmade. And that, like, I mean, especially this, I remember you were in Europe when you picked up this Murano stone, and, and it's just Murano glass, and it's absolutely, it's gorgeous. That's from Italy. It's beautiful. So I have a little bit of, and this is like stuff that you fall in love with, and you hand pick, and it's like not mass produced, and, and that's what I like about it. It's a little bit of Lorelei. Thank and, you. Yeah. And so it makes me happy. Thank you very much. Yeah. So absolutely. you know, sometimes, sometimes Sometimes it's hard for me to sell them. It's like they're they are a part of me because my energy goes into every piece that I sell. Yeah. And sometimes I get possessive and I'm like, well, maybe I'm gonna take that off. I'm gonna keep that one. Oh, I think I'll hold on to that one. So oh, it wow. gets fun like that. What about you? Are you, making, are you still making those really funky Floyd necklaces too? Those little kind of I have one in particular that is um, taking off the theme of the dark side of the moon. Yes. Um, 
got one side that's strands of rainbow colors and the other side is strands of crystal. Oh, beautiful. And then a pendant that has something reminiscent of the album cover. It's a triangle with all these beautiful colors around it. And that's a really special piece to me. I only have a few of them left, um, but I made them for my Pink Floyd fans. They're on my website, oh, Jewelry yeah. by Laura Mai. It's called Dark Side 2015. Oh, I love it. I absolutely love that one. So, But, um, Chris, I can't seem to get Colleen on, so I don't know what's wrong. So I'm just going to kind of X her out. But I want to thank you so much for joining us today, Chris. And I'm happy Okay, that and I found out Yes. November 11th would have been my grandparents' anniversary. Well, there you go. So that was definitely for you then. Good. Yeah, it's so impressive to me how, Jay, you're able to hear the information about these little details that help really identify a specific person. Sometimes it's just like that. You know, it's it's like, even like yourself, the other day I was talking with Lorelai and I said, oh, Lorelai, I said, what's all the shrimp? <laughs> <laughs> Lorelai says, I'm going for a shrimp dinner tomorrow night. <laughs> no. Oh, yeah, so. yeah, we, my friends and I had been planning to make a special fish like the bouillabaisse, and shrimp was one of the main ingredients. Yeah. That was really cute. I know. So it's just freaking amazing, you know, so I'm so happy. But no, it's like that. And sometimes it's just like, oh my God, it's just there. And then some of them talk a lot, some of them don't talk a lot. But we're going to move on. Um, you know, we're halfway through already. I can't believe the hour, you know, goes by so quickly. But Chris, thank you so much. And I'm so glad that I was able to give you, you know, and, you know, some great, you know, connections to your loved ones. So I hope you enjoyed it. Yes, thank you very much. Oh, you're welcome, sweetie. Have a beautiful day. You guys too. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. Bye. There. So I've got Pamela. And Pamela Brown. Pamela? Are you there, Pamela? And I'm hoping she is. And I'm still, you know what, and, and this is really common, Laura Life, for me as a medium. Sometimes I'll do a show and I'll say a date and there's like 15 of those people that have those dates. Then I start trimming the fat. I start cutting it down a little bit, you know. Hi, Pam. Hi. How are you? How are you? I'm good, thanks. How are you? Any better of your triplets? I can cancel my old hip. And if you don't have a little hip, this is Ontario Health Insurance. So I feel- I was laying down waiting. <laughs> I feel great. Look how gorgeous your hair is. How are you? I'm good, thank good. you. Hi, Lorelai. Lorelai, do you know this beautiful girl? No, I don't, I don't think so. Lorelai is, oh my God, I'm so lucky to have her around. Um, she, she's just an amazing, talented person. You have to go check out lorelaimcbroom.com. Go check out her website. You'll see what I'm talking about. I definitely will. I definitely will. Yeah, Pamela, tell me, you know, do you have questions that you want to ask um, either of us? doesn't matter if you want to talk about mediumship, life after death, or could you also relate to June or 6, 15 or 24 or November 11, 20th or 29th? No, none of those ring uh, for me. Um, I'm just wondering, I've had some recent passings in the last few years. Okay. I'm constantly finding dimes and yeah. feathers and songs on the radio that just they're always there yeah. at this a certain time and I don't know I just feel like a presence around me yeah. like a, like a like a protective energy and I just wondered I just wondered if you saw or felt anything well you know I'm gonna tell you straight up dimes for me are a big thing because my mother left me dimes and I always used to kind of chuckle a little bit when people tell me about dimes but you know what I'm gonna tell you I so believe in it um, I, I, you know, the very first day I moved here, there was a dime right at the front, right at the front door. You know, when I took a photo, I couldn't <laughs> believe it. Uh, feathers, I don't get so much, but I get songs like, you know, today we turned on the radio and I had been thinking of my husband's mother and, um, the song from Journey came on, um, lights in a, or something, city, you know, when the lights are over the city or something, it's a beautiful song. And, um, 
it's it's so about his mother and back home because he comes from Halifax and you know mm -hmm. it's kind of like that kind of song so I can understand that when I get around you Pam it, other P names I don't know if there would be other ones but I keep on getting the number two six and so I don't know if two six is important for you or if it's just mm -hmm. February 6th or between June 2nd or 20th or I don't know Mm -hmm. 1926 or something happened 26 years ago but that's the only thing i see around you in terms of numbers okay mm -hmm. if someone that makes me feel they had a very bad um it's like i have to go to the hospital twice you know what i mean it's not just like once i go and then i get you know, I, I stay there and I pass away. It's like there's a back and forth thing going on. I would get anyways. So I don't know what the back and forth is, but I get that. And I don't think it's like, uh, you know, for two, three months or whatever, it's just like twice they show me with a back and forth, you know? So I don't know if you can relate to that, but that's what I get, you know? I also get, I still keep on getting other P names other than yours, you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. So I don't know what that I have a I have a P name uh, that passed a long time ago. So that's what it is. Yeah, because I keep on getting a P name around you. Who is that? Patricia Lynn. Oh, okay. I understand. Um, can I ask, is there someone that went to the hospital twice before they passed? Maybe in the same week or something? Yes. Who is that? Is that her? My brother-in-law passed okay. um, in June from pancreatic cancer, and he had two trips to the hospital. And in it was a very short-lived uh, illness. Yeah, exactly. Did someone eat peaches and cream corn? Peaches and cream corn. Yeah, or did you just have shepherd's pie? Or um, last week I made shepherd's yeah, pie. Yeah, because like for me, when I see that, it's shepherd's pie. But you had some visitors, hun. <laughs> Where do you live, Pam? I live in Onaping. Oh, okay. just north of Sudbury, about forty minutes. I, I know where that is. Okay. Yeah. yeah, it's a beautiful area, actually. I love the waterfalls out there. Very cool. picturesque. Yeah, it really is. Can I ask you another question? I know it's going to sound sure. stupid. Does Loches Road mean anything to you in Sudbury? Um, I know where it is, but I don't know. That's where the people... I'm not from the Sudbury area. Like, I know how to get there, but I, I don't... Let me ask you something, then. Loches Road, for me... It's the turn off to go to the mall, like at the four corners, but it's also where the yeah. pizza hut is or the Tutti Fruity or Shoeless Joe's. Is there anything to do yeah. with one of those restaurants for you? I'm just curious. No. I keep on seeing them. I've been, I've been to them, but I, I no. but nothing ever significantly happened and I haven't been there for years. What highway is that highway sixty nine south? Yeah. Unless there's a, unless there's a trip to Toronto or something or someone going south for you. But the thing is, I freaking see Loaches Road, and I don't know why. So it could even be the mall. Like, I don't know. Pat, Eastside Mario's is there, too. Yeah. I think there's East Sides there across the street or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, across the street, yeah, yeah. I think so. But there's something to do with that. And can I ask you, did you, did you cancel an appointment just last week or something? Uh, is it canceled okay. appointment? Just anyways, if you canceled anything in the last week or if you're canceling this week, you really need to remake that appointment. They make me feel rather important around that, you know? Okay. Yeah. But anyways, they come around you quite a bit. The one that, that had the two hospital like um, trips in the, in the same week makes me yeah. really important to say hi to the family. And then I keep on seeing Monique or Nikki and I or Monique. Or Nikki, um, I have I know I'm a Nick, but she's <clears throat> hasn't passed. No, it could be someone connected to her too, Nick or Nikki. Okay, so just, okay. just to let you know, but that, one, they, that one I don't recognize. Oh, okay. But I don't know. I don't know I'm a Nick or Nikki connected to my sister. My sister died when she was nine <clears throat> in 1970. Mm. Nick or Nick, Nick, Nick. I don't know. Unless it's Dominic, it can even be something like that. No. Okay. Then I'm not feeling it. I don't know what it is then, but I'm hearing that. So just to let you know that. Okay. Okay, honey. Okay. Well, thank you so much for calling in. Thank you. Okay. Very nice meeting you. Nice to meet you. Thanks so you much. Too. You take care, honey. Thank okay, you. Okay, bye-bye.
Hi. So I am, how are you doing so far, Lorelai? You like it, Ness? Good, good. It's, it's fun. I know, I, I, you know what? I mean, you're used to me on the telephone and we talk about these things, but you know, it's, it's people, even when you don't know them, you know, we're able to kind of channel that through. And sometimes it's energies that belong to other people. I still remember you know, channeling this one lady's neighbor of all people. And then three days after my reading with her, she, she ran into her, that lady's daughter. And there was like a reconnection and it was just really weird, you know, and people tell me they actually reconnect with family members as a result. But I'm going to try Pauline again and we're going to let her come up, but I'm going to go to this Laura and we're going to see if we can get Laura here too. So we've got a few watchers now, Lorelai. Wow. <laughs> I'm having a good time and there's so many different people here. Hi, Laura. How are you? Hi. Are you there? Good. How are you? Oh. Yeah. Excellent. I'm excellent. I'm just, oh my goodness. I'm just uh, so, so happy. I can barely see you. But Laura, Laura, it's very, very nice to meet you. And, and I don't know if you've met Lorelai McGrew, but Lorelai, we're so happy to have her here today. <laughs> Did you have any questions for us, Laura? Uh, no, no questions. Just if uh, you can feel anything around me. Oh, just any senses? I can barely see. I wish yeah. I could see your face. All I see is the dark outline. Do you see that too, Lorelai? Yeah. Yeah, it's just very, but very dark. If she, doesn't have, if she doesn't have a light in front of her, it's going to be hard. Yeah. She's a light behind. Do you, have, um, do, you, do you know anyone who just got a piercing? I don't know. I'm not sure. Oh, okay. I'm just kind of wondering about that. It's almost like my nose hurts all of a sudden, so I don't know why. Do you have a, do you have a sinus ache? No, not me. Okay, so someone's showing me a sinus ache or whatever. But anyways, Laura, I'm happy that you're here. Is there July around you? July. Mm -hmm. Or 7, 16, or 25? No, not that I can think January. of at the moment. Not that I can think That's of. That's okay. January 6th or October 6th, June 1st to June 10th. Uh, no. February 5th or May 2nd to 20th. I'm just curious. No, not that I can think of right okay. now. Then it's not you. I'm feeling, I'm getting a sense around someone who passed away in July. And I'm getting it like really, really, really strong. They hold on to their lungs. So I almost feel like they had pneumonia or like water backed up very quickly. I don't think it's a drowning, but I've got that that just popped in and it's really, really strong. So if anyone can, um, can relate of lung cancer uh disney mom just said that. um disney mom i just want to know was there like all of a sudden like a lot of fluid that went into those lungs i just need to know yes can you call in okay let's see here i'm gonna, I'm gonna get her on here nicole right so maybe that's why i'm hearing nick nicole or monek okay just a sec I'm going to try to get her on. And Laura, we'll keep you there to watch. Hi, Nicole. So maybe that's why I was here Nicole or Monette, and the other person can relate to it. And now I get Nicole coming through. I get July, and I get the lungs. I can't breathe at all. But they make yeah. me feel that it was complications last two days of passing. Did you relate to that? Yes. My grandfather died in July um, okay. with lung cancer. Okay. Is there also someone that had strokes or aneurysms or dementia or Alzheimer's? I just need to know. Even still here. Uh, my great grandmother had dementia. Oh, so that's her. She's passed then, right? Yes. Okay. Because, like, I wouldn't think she's still here. You know, Gretzky, the number 99? Yes. Okay. Is there something to do with 1999 or 99 years old? Or, or September 9th? Possibly. <laughs> she was in her 90s. Okay, so maybe that's why. Because I keep on seeing Wayne Gretzky. Okay. Because <laughs> it makes it 99, unless it's Wayne. But I don't think it is. 
So not showing me names connected. Now, Nicole, they make me feel really good around you. You're a really special person, but you take things too personal. Don't get mad at me, okay? Oh, <laughs> but, but you do. You, you take things to heart. You're such a good person. So they don't want you to take things to heart like that. They don't want you to be hurting like that. You have to toughen up a little bit. I think it's just the way they're talking. And I think it's your grandpa that says, you know, you need to kick some ass a little bit. I'm so sorry, but... Yeah, you know, I'm just I'm just trying to say it the way it is. Um, the thing is, you've got really good things coming, but sometimes I think you set up yourself up to just think that the worst things are going to happen. You, you know what I'm saying? Yep. Yeah. All right, so don't do that. Like, you know what I mean? Now, also, someone's pulling on your ear like this. Who's that that did that to you? Probably my grandfather. Because it's not me. I don't have anyone pulling my ears, but I have someone. And my daughter does. <laughs> okay, so I understand. So they would come around your daughter quite a bit, okay? Is October or 10 important or 1 or January? Just need to know. 1 or 10 uh, or January I, or October? I don't think so. Not that I can think of. There's something to do with that too, okay? Okay. So I don't quite know what it is, but they make you feel good about it. I keep on smelling like mint, mint, like mint tea. So I don't know. Oh, I always have mints. That's you? Okay. So he must be around you quite a bit, but don't worry so much. He says you're a worry work. Oh my God. You lose sleep over it too. I'm going to tell you that. Who's the school teacher, by the way? Who's the teacher? Um, I have a friend that's a teacher. Yeah. Is there problems there? I don't think so. They make me feel that there's issues there going on. So I don't quite know what it is. Make me feel involved with the family. So maybe if you hear a little bit of sadness, I'd just be very encouraging to her. Okay? okay. Yeah. I don't think it's a big, big deal, but I feel pretty good. Now, your grandpa comes around you quite a bit. Feels stronger than your grandma. Okay? But I feel that. Do you remember what day he passed in July? Yeah. Um, it was around the 7th, 8th, because I know oh. it was around my dad's birthday. Oh, okay. Yeah. And that would, you know what? I, there must be two things in July then. Is there an anniversary too? Or a birthday? Just my dad's birthday is July 7th. Someone else? Um, Maybe I'm of someone else too. Or is, yeah. There could be a birthday. There's lots yeah. of birthdays in June and July. I think it's in July they make it like the same month as the passing. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I just I just get the feeling around that, and I see like a poodle-like dog, or very curly-haired like uh, you know those is it lapsa up? No, is Bichon Frise Bichon Frise or uh, like mm -hmm. really curly-haired little dog? Yeah, dog. my grandmother's dog is like That's that. Really that, so that's her dog. Okay, yeah. they say that dog because it's like really curly hair, white. Mm -hmm. like it looks yeah. white. Yeah, yeah. I keep on seeing that. Who who used to make really that really shitty freaking craft pizza? You know, like you know, out of the kit, like really flat. And, like I never liked that stuff. You know, you know the kit that comes in the box way back like years ago, and you used to have to make your own dough. And then it was sauce, and then you put that powder orange cheese that it tasted so yucky. No. <laughs> I'm freaking, I'm seeing craft pizza in a box, and that's old. Like, that's, I don't think I've even seen that, like, for years. If anyone can relate to that, I've got someone coming through. It's a woman, definitely a woman. They make me feel like they put kibasa or something on that pizza. So it's like not pepperoni. It could have been whatever they had type thing. But I have someone like that too. Oh, my God. I can't that. Oh, it just looks really awful. Anyways, I'm just glad I don't have to eat it. Um, can anyone relate to, I just need to know, uh, Nicole, anything to do with bowel ruptures? I kept on getting that earlier. Right. Uh, the only thing I can think of, Jay, is possibly my mother had ulcerative colitis, um, but that's not a rup like a rupture. It's tears in the colon. No, this makes me feel like a rupture, and then someone went septic. You know what I mean? And so I'm getting kind of that feeling around it. So there's definitely something to do with that. But Nicole, thank you so much for joining us. Did you have any questions for Lorelai? 
Um, I don't think so, but I love the jewelry. <laughs> I know, I know, and you got to go listen to her. Okay. Thank you. Well, please check out I the site. Jewelry by Laura. Yeah. Okay, I will. And Jay, yeah. what you mentioned before um, about the fingertips. Yes. My grandfather chopped his fingertips off. Uh, that's him. And he then you, had, himself, said, right? you had said something else, and that was him as well. Okay, so perfect. So we'll see it. In, I don't remember what I said, but it's perhaps because I'm channeling through for you as well. They all show up in lineups, you know? Um, I, I have also, uh, Chris, if you're still on, I, I, I feel the same spirit coming back, but there's a young girl coming through. She's quite young and she says hello. So I don't know if you can relate to that, but I think it would have been with, uh, with the June 24th connection, but I feel the spirit of a very young girl, like young, under 12 years old. So just to let you know that. But thank you, Nicole. I'm going to move on to some other people just before we end because we have a very short time left. But I want to thank you so much for joining us here today. Thanks, Jay. Take care, honey. Bye-bye. Bye. And Laura, thank you so much, too. I'm just going to go on to my next people. Okay. Take care, honey. Thank you for joining us. <laughs> She's so sweet. Oh, I keep on getting that young girl coming through now. There's some kind of young spirit coming through. But anyways, you know what, Lorelai, this has been such a blast. I had such a good time. And, you know, I'm just, it's nice to see there's so many artists out there actually that, I've read for that are really, really open-minded. But it's been so great, you know, experiencing different conversations with the things that you've learned because I've learned so much from that as well. But I really want to thank you for, for joining us today here. And, and, you know, for, for showing us, like, I love what you're wearing, by the way. That's absolutely gorgeous. Thank you. I love the roses on it. Yeah, they're really pretty. I'm going to have to do something for myself with more of these. I like that yellow on the hat that you posted earlier. That was gorgeous. Thank you. Oh, my God. And, like, I'm not... We're having some audio problems. Yeah, I think... I'm getting, like, a repeating echo. I am and some people have been to say that my audio is hard to hear. It's garbled. Uh, we've been having a little bit of trouble with you, but I didn't want to leave you, but I've been able to hear you so far. But yes, your audio is a little bit off. I'm hoping, I'm hoping that mine's not. But anyways, I'm gonna see here, Pauline, if we have a last, you know, I don't know. We've been trying to get Pauline on tonight. And uh, I'm hoping that I'll be able to get on. And so, Pauline, if you're listening, you know, make sure that you allow your video and your audio. Otherwise, you won't be able to get it on. And so, so Jay, I'm hearing an echo with you. It's sort of like um, a repeating. Okay. So it could be the connection. But you know what? We're coming up to time anyways. And um, I have someone that says, niece Jasmine passed away in June. So that could be the other June. And is she under 12 years old? Um, let me see. That is me, Chris. Oh, I see. Okay, Chris. So you have a younger niece, Chris? He's just going to look at her. She's typing. Mel, yes, there's actually, uh, actually a way of getting in. You just call in and make sure that you allow your audio and your video when you're trying to call in. There you go. I'm going to try here. Hi, Mel. I don't Hi. know if Mel's good. Hi, Mel. How are you? I'm fantastic. Great! You look amazing. Do you do you know who Laura, Do you know the wonderful Lorelai McBroom as well? Until now, I had seen her work, and I absolutely love it. Oh, I it know she's gorgeous. amazing. So I'm going to go online because I love personal jewelry. I'm sorry, I can, you lagged a little bit, honey. What did you say? I'll just I'll just plug in. Hold on. Okay. I love her accent. <laughs> yes, it's pretty. It's a beautiful yeah. accent. I'm definitely having audio problems. Can you hear? Yeah, oh, I think you are. 
Okay, can I can hear you now, Mel. Oh, cool, great. What were you saying? I was saying I love her jewellery. It is absolutely beautiful how it's custom made and you put your own personal touch and healing. And I'm all for that. Um, I was wearing opal jewellery when I was pregnant and they say in Australia, I'm not, I don't live in Australia, you shouldn't wear opal because it's a baby from the sea. And if you're pregnant, it, um, there's a myth about your baby could leave your body because it's opal stealing from the sea, you know, that kind of thing. But I wore it and I actually said to the opal that I admire the beauty of you. Can I please wear you while I'm pregnant? And I'm glad I did because it was such a beautiful stone to carry it is opal's gorgeous and it can also represent like um april you know instead of oh. diamonds people wear but i find the stone so precious so you have to really be careful if you're washing dishes and that kind of thing but yeah. i absolutely love gemstones and stones i find they give me so much great energy and it's funny i'm working right now on some cards i could show them to you actually um, I've been working on a project with Lori Lowenberg, who's a dream expert and actually a good friend of Lorelai's as well. And Lori is an amazing girl. And, uh, you know, she's been on Dr. Oz. She's been on Katie Couric, on and on and on. And with every card that I'm designing, I'm also going to be suggesting a gemstone. And you're going to see the gemstone. And so, you know, the lotus flower, you know, of course, for healing the heart chakra, that kind of thing. But yeah. pink thermaline because... And of course, I love rose color, but too tourmaline because I find it so beautiful and sparkly and attractive. So I'm thinking, attracting love with that. But Mel, yeah. thank you so much for calling. And it's, you know, it's funny. You have such a beautiful accent. And Lorelai is actually with the Aussie Pink Floyd. So, oh, wow. Yeah, she was touring internationally. She's going to be starting up again. And, and uh, Lorelai is also available in the U.S. and anywhere, actually, internationally for like singing engagements and that. But she's going to be returning to Aussie Floyd. And I'm a big fan. They're just amazing. But I want to thank you so much for popping in, Mel, and saying hi to us. You're welcome. And likewise with you, too. Take care, honey. I added... I added the um, web address to the jewelry site in the thread on the side. Oh, perfect. Okay, that's awesome. Thank you so much. I want to thank you so much, everybody, for joining us here today. Lorelai McBroom, you're absolutely beautiful. I love you inside and out. And thank you so much for you know sharing a little bit of your spirituality and your beliefs with us. So, I could probably go on for another hour with you, but we're going to cut it short and have a beautiful, beautiful day, everybody. And thank you so much for joining us. We might do this again. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you, Bye-bye.